If you guys thought that having one snake shot pistol shotgun was overpowered, imagine having two. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tigris Gaming and welcome back to some more modern warfare. Now in today's video I will be checking the special weapon the 357 pistol and its akimbo snake shot attachment. Now if you guys remember I did make a video about the 357 and using its attachment snake shot that basically turns it into a shotgun and when season 2 arrived they finally added an akimbo attachment to the 357 weapon. And here this is what I'm talking about the 357 weapon and its attachment snake shot, buckshot filled shells and of course here the perk akimbo. Now let's take this akimbo snake shot shotgun of a pistol into some rust gameplay all right everybody welcome back and it seems that i cannot join a game that is not in progress as i get a kill right there that's what i'm talking about but yeah once again this game is in progress boom let's go boom all right all right you see, at that range, this weapon absolutely melts people. But once you start going a bit further, that's where it's gonna melt you. Boom, let's go. Another kill, that's a personal raider. Let's go. They stood absolutely no chance, that's what I'm talking about. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. did you see that guy? I did, n I did not see him. No, no, oh, I had to reload. Come on, get Now, I'm not gonna lie, since Rust came out, all I've been playing is Rust. I really have been John Rust. I think it's a bit of a change of a map, you know, from the normal Piccadillys and all that, you know, it was a bit different and I like that. You know, we, we have another shoot house like, oh, what? He's camping there. I thought I was getting hurt by the thermite. It's a good change. We had shoot house. That was a good map. And then other than that, we didn't really have any more close range maps uh, until now, of course. And the game is finished. What? All right. I'll see you in the second game. All right. In the first game, I went 9-7. Not bad, not bad. And once again, I have joined my second game while in progress as well. And we are down 36 to, to 0. So anyways, like I was saying in that previous match, is that it's really nice to have a map that is small, but not shoot house. You know, we've had shoot house for quite some time now. But yeah, it was a bit of a change from shoot house as that guy is still there. Let's go. Yeah, so I'm really happy that we got we got this rust. Let's go. That's a triple kill. Ooh, come on. That was a triple kill and I got killed by my own teammate. Absolutely legendary stuff right there. Now, as much as I'm saying I love this map as I get another kill right there. There is one part where I really hate about this map and it's come it comes as no surprise, but it's the camping part. Okay. The the camping in this game is absolutely ridiculous. And not only in this game, I meant say in this map is ridiculous. And why is my weapons not shooting? Alright, that's not nice. Because I was shooting, but I just decided not to shoot. Alright. But yeah, the camp in this game is nothing like I've seen. And I'm being honest here. Like, I've seen camping in Piccadilly. I've seen camping in Shoot House and all that. But in Rust, camping is absolutely a different monster. Okay, it is something that I don't even know what to say to be honest about it. It is so bad and it's just ridiculous. To be honest, that's the only bad thing I can say about this. It's that the camping is ridiculous and that's it. Otherwise, I am really happy with this map. I am so excited that it was brought in. And there it goes. You see right there in front of you. Another camper. Do you see that? And then there it goes one more time right there. They're camping there using either M4 or the Ram 7. And they're just camping there doing absolutely nothing. And uh, that's it. That's what Rust is pretty much. As I get another kill right there. However, it is very fun map. I am enjoying it. You know, once you get past the camping, you really get to, you really start to enjoy this map. And I think, you know, we, we've had a lot of camping in this game, so we're used to it. Doesn't really matter anymore. So I'm just having fun. You know, it's another small map. And as always, if you guys have tried out this snake shot akimbo weapon and also uh, rust, tell me how you feel about it in the comment section down below. Do you like, first of all, do you like the akimbo shotgun pistol? Do you not? And secondly, do you like rust? Like I said, I love rust. It's very fun to play. And this akimbo 357 pistol shotgun thing, it's quite good. And see, you see what I mean? Right there. This guy's camping as I go 13 for 17 this game. 
as you guys saw a lot of camping we'll take that we'll take that and with all that being said this will bring us to the end of this video i gave you guys two matches of the 357 akimbo attachment shot shotgun pistol it's quite good in my opinion if you can get on those close quarter ranges then you are absolutely melting people but make sure to not engage in long range gunfight uh, because they're 99.99999 percent of times you will lose them so make sure to only be close to your enemies when you're trying to kill them and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to smash that like button if you guys are new here make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of these updates gameplays battle royale you know all those news and all that stuff good stuff so make sure to subscribe and with that being said i hope you guys have a good day and i will catch you guys later